baba bami ya ya mi ni tele kuto jipe baba mi ni mo tele le hilosi aduwo barakwa ohun si ni baba mi so si pelu te ma gburu ko san je bo aya mi o tun jari ko si nkan kan o tutu o mu mi pelu tori in to ju mi ni jo na jo ti an de ah la ti jo ti an ti bi mi mi ri o eri ba awon meerin lese kese lari oku won le eh ninu awon awon meji nbe le lohun ni stare lo gbe oku won ti spi ai se nso yi ti je pe elo eni kan to ti ri oku won lohun won o gbe wa o so fun wa ta le da dide be on ga na ta on ga na o jura ti mu ko le a fe be awon eyan pe ko lo fi awon o ti o ti sa lo fun wa ko ko fe da wa lohun won oku won be le nbe ti isi lehin aburo mi awon merin mi ni awon olopa gan gbe oku won iru eyan be le yan ogbo ko re ti aya oni janya ni janya gan na olodun ni o pe ki emi na o ba lo olodun ni kan to ni nti mo ti mo se laye tuku se ti apa mi njona this is really terrible so these people can really be afraid like this like he said any time he hears a bus Sunday, Sunday's name, he begins to shiver, he begins to, you know, get, he gets afraid anytime he hears him. He said uh, Sunday is a bad person in this whole world, very bad and deadly person. So nobody's going to hear that kind of person's name and you'll not be afraid. That even when he heard that uh, Sunday will be, was planning to go to Ogun State, that he could not sleep that very night. He couldn't sleep. He couldn't sleep. That everything he worked for, you know, has gone down the drain everything is raised down you talked about a uh, is money uh, but one point i think it was sometime you know 1.1 million naira and also that his only sibling that sunday kid is only sibling and about four people also that a uh, police confirmed dead that they could not even go and take their bodies from the place now it's i think uh, now the man is a uh, he's in quara state and he said he's from quara he's from Lauren. i don't understand because everybody got you know the fulanis and the illorin people whether they are interwoven because all these people people always talk about uh, because uh, they were able to capture that particular place that one is a story a story for another day but what he's talking now is that he's he you know he's afraid of sunday but when he hears his name you know, he's always afraid because he believes that that man is very, very deadly. Hmm. Very, very deadly. But he said if he wants to, you know, I could hear him from other interviews that he granted that he would love to go back to that place in case if the government would be able to reassure him. And just like, why would you want to go there since the people say they don't want you? They don't want you there. So the best best, since you are from Milorin, it's good that you stay back there. Stay back there. Hmm. Sunday go. A lot of people didn't know this man, no, but a lot of people are beginning to know him now. People are beginning to know him. Those who knew him then, they see, they can see attest to the fact that okay, this is what they know about him. But people are beginning to hear about him all over the world, and he's not afraid of anybody. And some people believe that oh, because he has a juju, he has a voodoo, he has a jazz, so that is what is giving him confidence. And like I said before, this man has never even come out to to look for anyone's trouble or to just start a... I think he, he, he granted... Sunday Igbo himself granted an interview. He said nobody, somebody should... Anybody that says that uh, maybe he took the life of the person or anybody's life. Apart from when the war of that Modakeke was ongoing. That you know that uh, during war anything could happen. Say, but there's somebody that say, oh, just, you know, just sat down in your, you know, in your house and somebody say, go and get rid of that. He has never done it. So for this Seriki now to be saying, ah, <laughs> he dread, he dread Sunday, Igbo, you should know that, yes, he said his, his life would have gone in for his as well, that 
God just says that uh, he still has uh, some things to see do here on earth. If not, that he would have been long gone. I think maybe this one is serve as a lesson because people have been complaining. People have complained. Not only complained, people have lost their lives. People have loved, lost their loved ones. What did anybody do? Nothing. And as we speak now, everybody is running a task. The president, whether he knows what is happening, it's a different world game entirely. Whether it's a deliberate act, mm -hmm. so we can't even just say, as everything is still hot, the man has not come out to tell us, oh, no, do. Oh, wait till you not carry for there. <laughs> you know, you know, send anybody. You know, send him anybody. He can't be bothered now. His wife is not even here. A lot of uh, rumors that we are hearing that the wife said that the place is not a uh, Asso Rock is not convenient or it's not comfortable. It's not secured for her. Even if not, if that is not what she said, but in the first place, what we should be doing outside a matrimonial house. An elderly person that she's supposed to be taking care of. I'm, th I'm sure those who usually marry younger people, just so that they will be able to take care of them. How can a young man, a young woman like that, leave her husband and with the kind of position she's holding, she does not even care. And the worst part of it is that they are going to be paying her. A lot of conspiracy, you know, surrounding her movements and everything about her sorrow, which we can't even pinpoint, but the so-called Kabas are hiding a lot of things. They are hiding a lot of things. So the problem of the Seriki now is that he cannot even stand. He can't stand Sunday Igbo. Whether this one will send a signal or a, uh, a message to as many of them who think that uh, they have monopolies or anything, or because uh, uh, people always respect their leaders, so they believe that their leaders are afraid or they don't want to say anything. So by the time they talk to the to their people, they will be able to calm down. But now it has gone beyond that. Nobody is going to be listening to anybody. Hey, you are either whatever, and you are not doing anything. And you open your eyes wide like this and people are losing their lives. People, people are losing their source of livelihood because you say you are a leader and you cannot protect the people. Now it is the time for people to protect themselves. And it's as simple as that. So maybe they believe that oh they will talk to them everybody will be calm let us sit on the round table uh, sitting on the round table for ages it has not produced any results it hasn't it hasn't so for as many of them that see thinking that uh, oh yes they might want to come and they will come for a reprisal of course the people you are dealing with everybody already knows that they are still calling for his arrest since he went to Ogun State they are still calling for his arrest. Somebody like a uh, fire who saying that uh, he has to come back, who he has to do this, so he has to do that too. So, guys, let's hear your opinion and let's know your thoughts on this.